हेलो डियर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैथ्स पयू बाय अथावरे मोहन as we are all familiar with the quadratic equation that is x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 and a b c the constants involved in the equations belongs to the set of real numbers quad mean square is the highest exponent in this equation is 2 that's why this equation is called quadratic equation and the solution of this quadratic equation can be easily obtained by using the well known formula called the quadratic formula that is x is equal to minus b plus minus under the radical sign b square Minus four AC whole divided by two time A. That is the two roots are x one is equal to minus b plus under the radical sign b square minus four AC whole divided by two A, and x two is equal to minus b minus under the radical sign b square minus four AC whole divided by 2a how to distinguish between these two roots of the quadratic equation this is totally depend upon the quantity involved inside the radical sign that is b square minus 4ac which is called the discriminant of the quadratic formula why it is called discriminant because it differentiate between the two roots of the quadratic equation so let us discuss the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation in detail nature of the roots of the quadratic equation the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 will be number first unequal and real if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 that is positive if the discriminant of the quadratic equation is positive then the roots will be unequal and real as we know that in real we have rational and irrational so both the possibility exist here number second equal and real f b square Minus four AC is equal to zero. Hence, if the discriminant of the quadratic equation is equal to zero, 
then the roots will be equal and real number third unequal and complex f b square minus 4 ac is less than 0 that is if the discriminant of the quadratic equation is negative then the roots will be unequal and complex number fourth the roots will be rational f b square minus 4 ac is a perfect square otherwise the roots of the quadratic equation will be irrational number 5 if b is equal to 0 then the roots will be the additive and inverses of each other further the roots will be pure imaginary if the product of a and c is past and will be pure real if the product of a and c is negative number 6 if a and c and the quadratic equation are equal then the roots will be reciprocal of each other that is they will be the multiplicative and inverses of each other now let us discuss exercise 2.1 so that we can understand the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation in depth first question of this exercise is to find the discriminant of the following quadratic equations the first part is x square minus 4x plus 13 is equal to 0 first of all we will compare this equation with the standard form of the quadratic equation that is with x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 so on comparing we find that the value of a is 1 the value of b is minus 4 and that of c is 13 since we know that the discriminant of the quadratic equation is d is equal to b square minus 4 time a and c now putting the values in the discriminant we have d is equal to minus 4 square minus 4 time 1 and 13 which on simplification gives 16 minus 52 which gives minus 36 second part is 4x square minus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0 here we see that the value of a is 4 the value of b is minus 5 and that of c is 1 so d is equal to Minus five square minus four times four and one, which gives twenty-five minus sixteen. Further, it gives nine. Here, the third part is x square plus x plus one is equal to zero. Here, all a, b, c are equal to one. So the discriminant is one square minus four times one. and 1 which gives minus 3 and that is the discriminant the second question of this exercise is examine the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equation so the first part is 3x square minus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0 first of all we will compare this with the standard form of the quadratic equation that is with x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 here we see that a is equal to 3 b is equal to 
minus 5 and c is equal to 1. Now to find the nature of the roots, we must substitute these values of a, b, c and the discriminant. And we know the discriminant is b square minus 4ac. First of all, we will shape the discriminant with empty spaces like this. And then we will fill up these empty spaces by the values of a, b and c. Here we are replacing b with negative time 5, a with 3 and c by 1, which on further simplification gives 25 minus 12. Hence, the final answer is 13, which is greater than 0. As the discriminant is equal to 13, which is greater than 0, that is positive. Since the discriminant is positive, so the roots of the quadratic equation will be real and unequal. Also, the discriminant d is equal to 13, which is not a perfect square. So, in real, the roots will be irrational. Hence, the roots of the equation 1 will be irrational and unequal. The second part of this question is 6x square plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, let us compare this with the standard form of the quadratic equation that is with ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Here we see that a is equal to 6, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 2. As the discriminant is d is equal to b square minus 4a and c. Now shape up the discriminant with empty spaces like this. Now fill up these empty spaces with the values of a, b and c that is 1 square minus 4 times 6 and minus 2 which on simplification gives 1 plus 48 which is equal to 49 as it is positive that is greater than 0. So, the roots of the equation will be real and unequal as the discriminant is 49 which is a perfect square. So, the roots will be rational and unequal. Now, moving toward the third part of this question too, which is 3x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, on comparing with the standard form of the quadratic equation, that is with x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, we have a is equal to 3, b is equal to 2, and c is equal to 1. As we know that the discriminant is d is equal to b square minus 4 times a and c. Now, substituting the values of a, b and c in the discriminant, we get 2 square minus 4 into 3 into 1 which on simplification gives 4 minus 12. Further, it gives minus 8, which is less than 0. As the discriminant is less than 0, that is negative. So, the nature of the roots will be complex and unequal. That is, it will contain the term iota. So, okay, dears, 
for the rest of the questions of this exercise 2.1 we will meet you in the next video till then bye bye see you